Hi, this is Tony Julian with another InDesign tutorial. Um, today we're going to talk about putting a uh, flowing uh, text, large bodies of text into multiple columns and adding an image and a uh, text wrap around that image. So first we're going to go to InDesign. We're going to create a new document. Um, because we're going to make something that's more like a um, brochure, a trifold brochure, we're going to use letter size and We'll make it uh, horizontal and we'll say OK. Um, I'll also change my preferences in here. Units, I'll change that to inches. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, imagine that these three, uh, the three columns in here. And the best way to do this, uh, if you're doing a brochure, it's is to separate it into three columns, or one of the ways to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cre first create a layer, and I'm going to under I'm going to create two layers. On one layer is going to be my um, guide, and the second layer is going to be where I'm going to work on. So in the first layer I'm going to make a box that's um, click on this. I'm going to make it 3.66 wide by eight and a half. So it'll be you know, just the top. I'm going to line that up like this. I'm going to copy this. I'm still on my layer one. I'm just using this as a guide to where my um, brochure is going to be. The 3.66 will kind of give you three equal columns on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. I'm going to lock this. And then I'm going to go to layer two. So I can't touch anything on layer one. Once it's locked, if I try to do something, it's going to be locked. So I'm going to go to layer 2, and I'm going to start with a text box. I'm just going to put a text box and try to keep it inside. Oh, this is where my fold will be, so I'm not going to put any text there. And then I'm going to create another text box, about the same, about the same height. And I'll create a third text box, close this, a third text box right here. Then I'm going to go in click on the first text box and then go to type fill with placeholder text. Now you'll notice that when you do that uh, it will only fill to the size of the box so there's no overflow but we need overflow to be able to do this exercise so we need lots and lots of text in this box so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy some of this so I'm going to uh, select all Edit copy and I'm going to paste some more text in there. Now, when you do that, what's going to happen? You're going to see this little plus sign right here. Basically, it tells you there's more text in the box. And if you, if you open the box a little bit, you'll see there's more text in it. So, what do we do with that text? We want to put that text that's overflowed into this box right here. So I'm going to scale back. <clears throat> so what you have to do is you have to click on that little plus sign. Now if you click on it the first time, you're probably going to activate the box. Then the second time you click it, you'll get this little icon that shows that you're moving text from one area to the next. So go into this box and paste it. Now I still don't have as much as I wanted to, so I'm going to paste some more. I'm just going to go and paste and I'll have the same problem again. I'm going to have this little plus sign, which tells me there's more text in the box. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me that little icon again. I'm going to paste it in. Now, the cool thing about this is that it flows from one box to the next. So if you select this and drag over, you will see that all the text goes together. So which means if I were to move or if I were to uh, shorten a box, So, I'll get more text in here. If I were to increase the text box, like so, like so, the text moves with the box. Okay, I'm gonna undo that, undo that. So, this is very useful because when we're doing documents that are 100 pages, you can flow all the text in at once 
and then you can go inside and stylize that text and make it however you want. So that's the first um, thing that you have to really pay attention to is getting all the text to flow into three separate boxes. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to bring an image in. Um, in the next video I'll show you how to bring an image in and wrap the text around the image. Okay, so we want to put an image into you know your document. I'm sure your brochure is not going to have tons and tons of text like this. You're going to have to bring an image in. So we're going to draw a, uh, an image box. You know, just draw it anywhere. Like so. You could even you know bleed it, have it touch the edge. When well, the image is okay to touch the edge of your fold with text, you probably don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to find my image that I need. Okay. Now, notice that the image is in there. It's so humongous. You can see part of it, so I have to drag it in. Or what you can do is you can go to object fitting, you know, fit content proportionally. And it's going to fit into that space. And if you want to enlarge it, you can, you know, play with the percentages up here. You know, let's make it 45. And move it around like this inside the frame. So we have an image, but if you notice, the image is kind of blocking the text at the back. And you can't read some of the text. So in order to do that, you have to do what's called a text wrap. In this case, we're going to wrap a text around the image. So what you want to do is you want to click on the image. You want to go to Window, Text Wrap. By default, your text wrap is on None. So it'll just flow just behind, in front and behind. So you want to click on the second box, Wrap Around Bounding Box. When you do that, you have a default of zero and if you click on this little settings the same you can apply let's say an eighth of an inch around the entire box you notice this little red line that went around it that's an eighth of an inch and if you want to make it more you can make it more but wherever you can move this image it's going to push the text down so if I wanted to move the image in the middle like so, it's going to automatically flow. And you want to do that and not make the text boxes smaller and larger. Because if you make the text boxes smaller and larger, every time you move the image, you got to re resize the box. And you don't want to do that. Okay, so you want to use the text wrap. So wherever you put that image, if you made that image, you know, much bigger, like I'm going to hold down the Shift, Option, Command key. To automatically scale the entire image in the box. Okay, let's see. Made this all the way out here. Move the image around. Well, your your box is still, you know, pushing the text down. So you have no text. That's there's no any text behind the image right now. So that's a very very good feature and you can continue and you can do that in multiple um, images so if you have another image and you were to bring in another image let's say you made it smaller I'm going to go to file place bring that image in and then go to object fitting fit content proportionately I have to put another text wrap on that image so click on the image Go to text wrap. Apply a text wrap. If you don't put a if you don't put a number in here, you see it's really close to the edge of the box. So you, you know you want to put at least I would say at least an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna get rid of my frame edges. So there you have wrapping text. The text is still wrapped in there. It's still in there. Now there's more text in this box we have to deal with, but you have text uh, are flowing through three boxes and then you have these two images and the, and the text is wrapping around the image so that's definitely how you want to handle 
um, apply an image if you have lots and lots of text in any really any document be it a, a brochure a public any kind of publication newsletter um, magazine you want to use uh, image text wrap uh, text wrap text around an image as opposed to you know making your boxes uh, different sizes in the next video I'll show you how to take the same document and start styling it and using style sheets as well as um, the paragraph and uh, character style sheets to make your layout even um, sharper.